All right, what's up guys? So I'm back with another video. This one, um, I know I did another similar video to this on my EDC um, bag pouch deal. Um, this is the one that stays in my car and I'm actually probably gonna make another one fairly identical to this just for my other car. Um, this is a Max Edition. I think this is the micro EDC. Um, if not, it's the Max EDC, I don't know. I'm gonna link uh, whatever one this is in the description below just because I don't remember. This is like the most common one that people go with though. Um, so start off, it's got four AA batteries uh, patch that I got at Blade Show. Uh, I wish I remembered this guy's um, this guy's name that makes these patches. He had a bunch of cool ones. He has a, he made the uh, the one that's on my other pouch video. Um, so inside, well, that's we'll start off with this since it's flopping out. This is a I i 3t eos i'm not sure it's just one of the small lights actually no the i3 is the smaller version of the i5 so i don't know which one this is i'll have to um i'll have to link in the description i got this free with some olight purchase um we'll go left to right so i've got leatherman bit kits um these are for the wave obviously and then i've got a s2r baton too this thing's like insanely bright uh, I would never carry this because it's huge and it has a side click button, which I hate. But as far as a cool little light for, um, I don't know if you guys can hear that bike in the background. As far as a cool little light just to have and uh, this, it's super bright, great to have. Um, we'll put this over to the side. I've got zip ties and I've actually used a fair amount of these, so I need to restock. I used to have a bunch more. And over here we've also got... This is like a, uh, I actually just put this in here because I got it for free. It goes with the Olight, so you can hang it on something. Will I ever do that? Probably not, but it came for free. I've got duct tape wrapped around a card of some sorts, maybe two cards, I don't know. I think that's it. Oh yeah, and then I have the uh, the charging cord for the Olight, obviously. Um, and I always, in my bag, I always keep a uh, uh, anchor like portable charger so I could charge the Olight if I needed to. Uh, I've got one of these Hinder, I think it's called an investigator pin. Oh, let me thread that back in there. Yeah, a Hinder investigator pin. I got this for like $30 a long time ago, probably like four years ago when I first started EDC and I thought it was cool. I've maybe used it twice. I think I've carried it one time, but I'd just throw it in there because never, never know when you're gonna need a pin. Uh, Leatherman Wave Plus, I've had this for a long time. I don't use it too often, but it has saved me like the track a few times, like if I need a quick Phillips head or if I need pliers for something, um, it's always nice to have. Or if like you're carrying a nice knife, like I'm carrying a Spectre uh, or like a, a Scout or something, and I need like a blade just to do something really not nice knife, you know, where you don't wanna use a nice knife. I don't know, words are hard. Uh, this comes in handy. And the, the file comes in handy a lot too. Um, little mini Sharpie, you know, cause mini Sharpie, just like the pen, you never know where you're going to need it. Um, this is actually my OG bug out for anybody that's followed me on Instagram for a long time. This is the original bug out. Like I, this knife actually might have more carry time than anything else in my collection. And I've considered selling it. Oh, hey, it's got some lock stick. I considered selling it, but like I literally have months of carry with this exact knife. This config, like these Rogue Blade Works scales, which I don't know if they make anymore. It's got a rock scale backspacer. Um, yeah, I've considered selling it, but, but I just, I probably can't. And really it's not worth a ton. I mean, maybe like 150 bucks and I'd rather just have it and keep it. So it gets thrown in here because I don't want to sell it. And I don't really, I probably won't carry it that much anymore just because I'm onto the Oz and Herman and everything else. But I don't know. Uh, I've got a micro USB, or not micro USB, uh, lightning to USB, just basic lightning cable for a charging phone if, you know, one of the other ones I have doesn't work. Um, we've got ibuprofen, because you got to have ibuprofen, and uh, got band-aids, of course, because we're knife people. We need band-aids and uh, some kind of alcohol wipes. Field notes, I've literally, oh, more, let's see, what is this? Oh, yeah, burn cream. Um, field notes, I've literally never used this. I don't know if I ever will, but I got a bunch of these when I bought a knife. Some guy gave me a three pack of these. It was, I don't know, some nature ones. 
So, you know, I figured I'd throw it in here. Will I ever use it? Probably not. I don't know. It's cool to have, though. Looks cool. Really like the design of this one. I got this one, and the other two, they're all uh, national parks. That's what they are. And it looks sweet. But, I don't know. I might use it for something. It's kind of just thrown in there. I don't know. I use my phone for most notes. Uh, this is a work sharp micro sharpener deal. Um, I talked about this in my other video, but it's got T6, T8, T10. A little sharpener, ceramic rod. As you can tell, I've used this one with like a bug out and some other, a few other knives. This is great for just if you want to like touch up an edge real quick and don't need anything crazy, like just go on here a few times, go on the rod a few times. Like it's awesome. It has a T6, which most like, even my toolkit at work doesn't have a T6 in it. It has a T8 and T10, but most like standard toolboxes, you're not going to have a T6 in. So having a T6 on is awesome. Um, I think, yeah, just a few more creams and stuff and yeah that is it so all those things <laughs> bunch of uh main things obviously being the extra knife um wow i need to fix that extra knife leatherman uh the bit kit obviously and then the flashlight the flashlight does actually get used a fair amount i come on don't do the thing flashlight does actually get used a fair amount um like if i'm running out here at night as you can tell i'm out in the woods from running out here at night um this flashlight does i think like 2000 lumens which is absolutely insane so sometimes i'll, I'll put this on the, um, the brim of a hat and just use this as a headlamp and uh, it'll do like 2000 lumens for a hot minute so i actually i use this every once in a while for that uh and then the work sharp sharpener i use a ton and then obviously band-aids you're gonna use all the time because we're night people and we're constantly cutting ourselves like i did the other day right right there which is real fun um I believe, yeah, that's it. So this is the one that stays in my car. Um, like I said at the beginning of the video, I'm probably gonna make another one for my other car that's similar. I just bought an 8020 um, that I'm bought for, gonna do a review and uh, some knife modding vids on, but I'll probably put that one in the other bag just cause I got it for cheap and I don't plan to ever normally carry an 8020, but for the price and just like having it for knife videos, it's good to have. So yeah, I'll probably put that one in the other thing. And uh, I've got another wave. I've got probably, I don't know, four more O-lights. Not, maybe not this one, but I've got a bunch more O-lights. But uh, this one stays in my daily driver bag or my daily driver. The other one comes in my car bag or the other one will be in my car. And usually if I'm driving my car, I have my book bag, which has the normal uh, EDC. I don't even know. Words are hard. The normal EDC pouch I have, the other one, other video I did. So it's it's normally has other stuff. So it's very rare that I'll need the other kit, but just for redundancy and just to have, I'll probably make another one. So, all right, guys, that's it for this video. Um, not sure what will be next. I might start doing some knife review videos if I haven't already put any up on this channel. But I um, might start doing some knife review videos and then might start doing some modding videos, whether that be on bug out stuff or para three or doing like a anodizing titanium. I, I really wanna do a basic titanium anodizing video because I think there's a lot of them out there. Um, and I think when I started to learn how to anodize titanium, I watched like 10 different videos because everybody's method's a little bit different. So I figured just add another method to it might help somebody. So that, that'll probably be another one I do soon. But all right, I'm done rambling. See you later guys.